it's no great honor either. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for coming. As a retired president of the National Alliance on Mental Illness for the Six County Area, I am so honored to be selected to offer the invocation this evening. So let us pray. God our Father, you have created us in love and saved us in mercy. Make us all responsive to the needs of others and witness to the faith and all we say and do. Shower your blessings on this group gathered here this evening and the food which we are about to receive. Amen. Amen. You know, I was thinking the other day, there are seven colors in the rainbow. Look what Michelangelo did with those seven colors. There are seven musical notes. Look what Beethoven did with those seven notes. There are ten numbers. Look what Bernie Madoff did with those ten numbers. <laughs> I was late one day for a very important meeting, and naturally there was no place to park. So I said, God, if you will find me a place to park, I promise to quit drinking. <laughs> Just then a spot opened up, and I said, forget it, God, I found a place on my own. <laughs> I'm the youngest of seven kids. We only had one bathroom, seven kids, one bathroom, nine people. That's how I learned to dance. <laughs> As the youngest, I wore a lot of hand-me-downs. That was okay, but with three sisters, I drew the line at saddle shoes and training bras. <laughs> Uh, we all have troubles, 90% of the people don't care, the other 10% are glad, you got them. <laughs> My last birthday, the candles cost more than the cake. <laughs> all right, all you guys, listen up here. You think your wife is your best friend? Lock. Lock she and your dog into the trunk of your car. Come back in a couple of hours, open the trunk, let it out, see which one you're glad to see. <laughs> All right, this is supposed to be a St. Patrick's Day celebration. Uh, with that team in mind, I would like to ask the Quinns to come up here and give me a hand. There's Quinns here? And all <laughs> the tables, you'll find the words to who threw the overalls in Mrs. Murphy's tower. <laughs> so the Quinns will <laughs> join me. And anybody else that wants to? <laughs> okay, we'll run through it once, and then we will start. Okay. <laughs> Who do the overalls in Mrs. Murphy's chowder? Nobody spoke, so we shouted all the louder. It's an Irish trick, that's true. I can lick the mick that through the overalls in Mrs. Murphy's chowder. Everything was kept of all the Murphys and our throat. They were treated us like gentlemen, we tried to act the same. 
Mrs. Murphy's chowder. Nobody spoke, so he shouted all the louder. It's an Irish trick that's true. I can lick the mick that through. The overalls in Mrs. Murphy's chowder. Mrs. Murphy's chowder. Nobody spoke, so we shouted all the louder. It's an Irish trick that's true. I can lick the make that through. The overalls in Mrs. Murphy's chowder.
or one of those comes on and they're singing this beautiful rendition okay. of our song can't help falling in love with you so I said to Pat oh I hate to wake up that <laughs> don't wake him up just turn it up a little bit that will wake him up and I look at him and <laughs> so I go uh, it'll wake him up Turn it up a little bit more. <laughs> well, full blast. <laughs> I said, well, I guess not. So I was telling my daughter-in-law, Ann, tonight that story. And she looks at me and she says, well, what, Ann? The honeymoon's over. <laughs> the honeymoon's over. The honeymoon's over. <laughs> the, maybe the honeymoon's over after 62 years. Uh, you guys make the call. <laughs> Yeah. 
single day.